be four and a half. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, well, exactly. So, <laughs> left hand one's kind of before. And we just put a line on here to show you where your hands started, okay? And then when the swing, where the hands go. So, that club's barely gone past your right foot and your hands have already moved out beyond that green line, yeah? So, yep. they've gone forwards towards the golf ball quite a bit, quite early, okay? So, they're just by your right foot there now. Hands are going outside. So, as you get to this point here now, the hands are moved away from the body. That club now is whipping kind of a long way behind you here now. Mm getting the club kind of a bit too stuck behind you so the rehearsal now we're trying to do now look at the difference in the hands here yeah so if i put a line on there now you watch your hand movement there the hands always working into that green line now your head yeah. stays reasonably good there okay as we go a bit longer it starts to drop a little yeah. bit so again i would do some work up against that wall just get the feeling of how your body rotates on plane okay yeah. because you and like a lot of people get told and you were laughing I thought told keep your head down the more your head goes down in the back to try and keep it down the more shoom, you're going to get on the way yeah. down in fact it's like a spring if I push you down here more down this way in terms of that way in the back swing the more down that way you go the more up you're going to pop <laughs> you're bound to yeah, yeah. If, if I said to you on the back swing now stand as tall as you could you couldn't go any higher on the way down, could you? Because <laughs> you're already there. So the more down you go on the way back and then the speed of the club coming back is going to throw you even higher, you see, yeah? Yeah. So as you come back in the golf ball now, I mean, your arms in the club almost in a vertical straight line because you've stretched up so much on your tippy yeah. toes there. You're going to top the golf ball more often than not. Or if you don't, put the ground behind the golf ball. So working on this sort of drill now as the club goes back, get that sensation the hands are working in here. That's much better. The club now is in that window between the back of your legs there and the hands have gone inside, whereas the last one, the club was outside the back of your right thigh there. Yeah. So you're working that club. So this is the rehearsals in there before you play the shots, okay? Head still dropping a little bit, so that's going to take a bit of practice, as we said. Yeah. You can, that's, that's really good there. So that's a really good spot there. The arm's moving in nicely. Head did go down a smidge, but yeah. not too bad. Now, when it comes to the shot, do a few more rehearsals. We've done the practice, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we simply just step into the golf ball and we hit. So at this point now, all you're really thinking, I suppose, for you could be like grip pressure. Just yeah. feel nice and loose in the grip. So you're not thinking about how the swing's going to happen. And what we hope for is the swing practice you've done has moved the hands slightly less. So if we go back to where you were here in that first move, you can see your hand, even before that club's gone back there, how much the hands have moved yeah. out, okay? Yeah, yeah. If we look at the, go back there, sorry. If we look at this one here now, when you get yourself set, the green line there's just outside your hands. Your hands now have stayed inside the line, haven't they, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you drop down a little bit? Yeah, you do. That's kind of ingrained in you. Now, because yeah. you've dropped down, you can't stay there. You've got to come back up. Because if you stay down there, you either shank at the ground where the numbers are here behind the golf ball. So now you've got to pop up. That's going to be more of a symptom that we're going to fix as we go through. Shot yeah. was decent, only you finished a nice balance there. Ball going straight because... 80% of that swing there was decent. The takeaway, the setup yeah. was wider with your feet. You're moving your body better. But this drop with the body is something that you've still got to try and yeah. work on. And again, yeah, if you yeah. can just... It is so common that people get told... They, and the thing is, mates of yours see their swing. If we just watch your swing in full speed, you go... Oh, you lift... Oh, God, your head, your head jumped yeah. up on that day. You lift your head. Well, your head lifting is not the fault. Your head no, going down... down exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's like, yeah. your car moved too far that way. Well, don't fix it by trying to drag it this way. And it's going to go further that way, yeah? So learn where the body needs to go. And again, yeah. if the body can rotate better, and it makes sense, Yeah. if your lower back was a bit sore, you probably don't want to use your back so much, do you? Yeah. So you sort of restrict how much yeah, movement so you've got there. And then you now think, okay, I'll, I'll use my arms to bring the golf club back. Now the club's got to go up. The body then goes down to send the arms up and that yeah. reaction there causes you to sort of get too high. So what we want to get to long term, I think the arm movement, for the most part, pretty good day and a nice sort of move with the arms coming back around your body it's that body movement which i think for you would be kind of the wall drill there yeah. Yeah. head against the wall even just put your hands across your shoulders or hold the oh, it was an imaginary club obviously the club down there yeah and just make swings to the point where you almost stand on the wall and there's a feeling as you go back almost like you sort of stand up on the shot yeah because the more we get up here and load up into it now we can go and drive down the golf ball. If you've gone here, you drive in the golf ball now, you're in the yeah. ground here somewhere because you've narrowed the gap. Unless your arms get short or the club changes length, which is <laughs> not going to happen, obviously, the ground gets in the way very quickly. And then you've got yeah. to go, whoop, pop up. You see the pop up, you get told, keep your head down. And then the backs, and you're trying so hard to keep your head down, 
it just goes down, 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 down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mate. So, yeah. a bit of takeaway work, obviously, which you've got pretty good. Now, don't just sort of think, oh, because you've got that sort of weight, it's now no, done. No, no, it's no. going to take a bit of rehearsing. Like I say, that sort of example of the language. If you did do that takeaway now for a week and you come back in a week's time, you'll be back to that. Because that, that's just that's ingrained yeah, in your yeah, DNA. Yeah. yeah, that's what you do, okay? You sort of fold the arms out that way and you roll the club this way, okay? So we want that club to work more on the inside coming back yeah. as your body is rotating, but as it's rotating in that spine angle. Okay, mate? Yeah. Right, so yeah, a few yeah. more in, buddy, okay? Cool.